Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. A little second late upload. I want to talk about these what if cards once again and possibly when to buy them because, of course, right now a lot of the market is down. We have another what if item that is going to be upgraded based on a clean sheet performance. So, as we kind of expected, the clean sheets are a bit easier to get than the goals at, you know, in the first one, two, or three games, honestly, the first two games so far for these players. Marcelo got a clean sheet today with Olympic Lyon, so he is going to be getting upgraded to a 90 overall card. But I want to answer the question today and kind of talk it through. What could we be looking for uh, in terms of a buy time for a lot of these cards? Of course, right now, again, the market is like in shambles, I guess you could say. Uh, and a lot of these cards, if they weren't um, actually... Um, had it having games today, a lot of the what if cards dropped across the market because this Marcelo is now guaranteed the upgrade. But we had tradable pack supply in the form of an SBC today, and that is dropping stuff across the market. But the way that pertains to what ifs is we had a tr that tradable small rare gold players pack, right? You can see this is down to 1.17 mil. The mid or prime icon player pick is down like 100k right now, and we'll talk more about that stuff later tonight. But uh, for right now, we're looking at these new what if cards and they have dropped a lot just because purely that tradable supply and there's been some movement post game for Smalling, Marcelo, Le Melu, and I think Pereira is going to have some post game movement as well. These cards, in my opinion, some of them, especially from what we saw them earlier this week and for how good some of these cards could be with a plus two. I think some of these cards are a little bit too cheap and we'll talk through that. But we kind of have a couple scenarios and a couple buy windows we can look at. Um, one of those is actually before rewards. And I want to talk about that a little bit. Um, I know right now the market again is in a place where there's just not a lot of hype except for SPC fodder and for stuff like that. This Papo Gomez is under 1.1 million coins. People are mentioning to me, do you think people are going to save packs tonight from rewards? Uh, and that would mean maybe less supply for these players in packs. Honestly, I don't think so. Maybe a few people, but most people, most casuals, there's no new loading screen with no new hints on it that would that would say there could be better players in Team 2 or at least give us a hint on that. So with these cards that are in packs right now, I think people will probably open packs and not save their rewards or do anything like that. So I do think you will see some of these guys get supplied. And as we saw day one when they were in packs or even today, right with a small SBC that comes out you see a lot of supply come on the market for these cards they are pretty packable right these cards are pretty packable and that means they probably will drop tonight at rewards now of course with some of the high tier cards right we're worried about the supply on some of the lower tier ones like Le Melu, Jovic, Perea, Marcelo, um, Yuri Berchiche but some of the higher tier ones like Mr. Sancho I sold my Sancho this morning at 1.3. I bought it at 1.4 and I lost coins, but I'm glad I sold it then because he is now 1.285. He was down at actually uh, 1.25 earlier today. I think this goes closer to like 1.2 mil. Dortmund have three goals scored out of the six that they need from their first game play. They played this weekend. And that's the thing with a lot of these cards. That's the potential for buying these is that they're the longer they're out in the game, of course, bar another like crazy market happening like this mid or prime icon pack that's out for another week that most that a lot of people have tried to do that's really taken a lot of coins off of the market and along that on alongside with the player picks. Um, bar those things, I still think the Sancho card would be like 1.5 mil. If there was no icon pack this week, this card would still be like 1.5 mil as people would be holding on to these and investing in these for the upgrades that are coming later. And I think that icon pack and a lot of the SBC fodder being inflated is really taking coins off the game and it's taking the hype away from these cards right now, which I think, especially for some of these guards and how low they are right now, for some of the guys that aren't that close to uh, getting their upgrade, like Alejandro Gomez, again, is 1.099 mil, 1.1 mil right now. They, I don't think they've even played one game yet. I don't think it's his, well, they played one league game this last weekend. They didn't score any goals. So he's on zero goals with four games left, but uh, they could still obviously score more goals and this card could still go to 192 as they get closer and closer. And of course, for the attackers, every single game they get closer and more goals scored, kind of like Le Melu, um, you would expect their cards to rise up in price. And I think you'll especially see that 
when they go out of packs. So this card has a lot of hype around it because of course he'll go to Hullet Gang plus two in every stat at least when he gets the upgrade. Uh, so that is kind of what we're expecting there. If I had to pick a couple favorites out of this team that I would want to invest in, uh, Odegaard, Smalling, Le Melu, Jovic. Honest, honestly, man, if I look at this team, I think at some point, all of these cards will have a will have their time to shine where they will rise up either whether it's out of packs or whether they have their they get to their second or third game and they start scoring goals uh, or a clean sheet almost happens like today we had that with smalling we'll talk about that in a second um but if we're talking like which cards to invest in the ones that people are the most hyped for right we, we always do a hype check a hype check, right? We look through some of these cards. Gomez is a thousand thumbs up. Sancho, how many thumbs up does he have? He's got 800 thumbs up. So he's expensive. But what about like this Le Melu card? He's got 1700 thumbs up for the links that he has and the value that card is. A lot of thumbs up there. 1200 thumbs up for Odegaard with the five star skills, the upgraded weak foot, and of course, new transfer to Arsenal. Now, this Marcelo guy is a thousand thumbs ups, but I think. That's because he is getting the guaranteed upgrade. This Smalling card is going to be endgame center back crazy uh, when he gets to that 90 rated card. I mean, dude, just imagine this as a 90. It's going to look ridiculous, right? The links there. This Mbabu, who didn't get his upgrade yet or the price range update, is actually falling on Xbox right now. 2,200 upvotes. Um, we've now had two defenders get their clean sheets right away. How much does this Yuri Berchiche have? He's got 1,200 upvotes. So a lot of these guys are very popular, right? These cards are have nice boosts, and they're maybe not the most meta cards this game, but they're fun. People want to, will want to try them out when they get their upgrades as well because the upgrades are going to push them into some new stat categories. Plus two on Jovic is going to take him into 90 shooting, 90 dribbling, maybe even 80 passing. Berchiche is almost going to get to 90 uh, physical. Uh, mid 80s pace for Smalling, over 90 defending. He's going to look ridiculous above 70 passing. Even this Marcelo, he's going to go above 70 passing, gonna, 90 plus defense, 95 physical. These cards are going to look cracked when they get the plus two. And I think, especially with a team two coming out later this week, the hype will return a little bit for these cards. So let's talk time frame once again, right? We talked about, yes, these cards are dropping down right now. This is, we see this a lot with promos, right? These cards are the, the higher tier cards. I know I mentioned the supply on some of the low tier ones, but these cards, if you compare price and look on the market, these guys are kind of rare. Now they're live items. So more people might just have them held in their clubs too. That's, that's one thing that we see often with live items. People just hold them, right? But um, I honestly think that tonight before rewards on these big cards, I don't think you'll see a big push up in the market today. I don't really expect big content either, but you might see some people look to buy some of these cards around rewards today. So, um, or tonight, Wednesday night into Thursday. So just keep an eye on that. This Papu Gomez is the one that I think for this price, I'm the most interested in right now. For the more expensive cards that are in this team, between Sancho, Smalling, Conte, and Gomez, I'm the most interested in this Papu Gomez right now because if this guy gets a plus two, we're talking 96 pace, we're talking 92 passing, we're talking 88 shot, 94 dribbling, four star, four star, fits this game to a T in terms of meta. He doesn't have finesse shot trait, but he's outside foot. I mean, this card's gonna be 99 agility, 99 balance, 99 acceleration. It's gonna be an insane, insane card. It already is cracked and it has positive reviews. So a card like this at 1.1 million coins, Argentinian links. We might have a play. We might have a player of the month, Messi, coming out, which would be a right wing most likely, because that is his base position. And usually, player of the months are released with their base gold card position. This would be a link to that Messi player of the month or Messi flashback if that were to come out as well. Now, I guess if Messi Messi flashback was a center forward, that would make this drop. That's kind of the only thing I guess that I'm scared for or on my mind with this Gomez. But I feel like a lot of these cards will rise up. Even though we've had all the icon stuff happen this week and a lot of the prices have dropped, a lot of these cards still to me are cards that people want to have in their teams, especially on the high tier range. And on the low tier range though too, right? With the Marcelo and the Yuri Berchiche and the Le Melu, those guys are so cheap and they're going to have really ridiculously looking cards. Like if you're telling me right now that Le Melu is 118,000 coins, and you have Future Stars New House, who will look very similar. This card will be better or around the same as New House, Future Star, um, when he goes to an 88. This card has better links because he is French and Ligue 1. 
in this game this year with what people have in their clubs already. And you're telling me this card is 60k cheaper than New House, right? When this Le Melu gets the upgrade, I would expect him to go to like 150 at least, in my opinion. So especially out of packs with people investing and rising that price up themselves, I think if you get in this week, I know it's a bad week. I know a lot of coins have been taken off the market, but with a promo coming this weekend, I feel like that the transition for most people They've done the icon pick, right? They've grinded towards it. Fodder is maybe drip, dipping down a little bit. Uh, I feel like you would see these guys rise up into next week a little bit. Because usually for the second week of promos this year, it's been a little bit more low key. This The team two or whatever, the, or the second week of that promo has been more low key. So I like tonight during rewards as a buy time. Once again, for the high tier cards though, like Gomez and Sancho, Smalling and Conte, I'm really watching Smalling right now pre-rewards because this is almost the lowest Smalling has been um, because he and what happened today with Roma was actually a crazy, crazy story. Check this out. Uh, and this is kind of we're learning how these cards move live in game. This guy, they were up 1-0 in the 48th minute. They, of course, coming out of halftime, they scored. This Smalling went from 700K up to 750, right? 750 before right here when Spiz Sp Spinozola... Spizzo, so I don't know how to say his name. I call him Spaghetti. But Spaghetti scored an own goal. So he scored a goal and then he got an own goal. So then, of course, that wipes out the clean sheet. And now Smalling is kind of getting panic sold. Probably going to drop a little bit more into rewards tonight. So definitely keep an eye on that. Um, that might be one of his lowest points because this card, as we looked at the hype check, right? Very, very in demand. Very popular. English links, of course. You still have people that are using Rooney. You still have people that are... Um, you know, linking together those English players with like Curtis Jones and SBCs like that that have come out. Um, and of course, the Bruno Perez new road to the final. We have RTTF and more upgrades and potential for that coming next week. So there's more, there's a lot of things on the bright side for this smalling card, in my opinion. And it, people are comparing this guy to Rio. Uh, and when he gets that upgrade, he's going to look even more like Rio. So I think that this card is a really good one to go for out of packs. Even though it's expensive, it's really rare. And he is close to his price range max. That's the only negative. He's uh, maxed to 800K. But if this guy is like 650 tonight at rewards, whether it's before rewards or during, um, I think you want to get involved with some of that. But of course, um, you saw a lot of these cards today. Like we talked about investing in the late. I bought Lay Melus for like 117. He went up to almost 130K, which where I, I sold a few cards there. And now he's back down, right? This Marcelo was like 110K yesterday. He went up to 135 when he, the clean sheet was confirmed when they, the game ended, and now he's back down to 117. So you're going to see a lot of investing on these cards because, of course, right now in the market, there's not enough hype on the actual player base with these cards because all the focus is on that icon player pick stuff. So again, with all the focus being on that, that makes me like these cards a little bit more. Now, of course, Team 2 is coming. There's going to be more cards that will come out, um, but of course... These guys have an advantage on team two because they've got more goals scored. Some of them have more goals scored. So those are the cards I would watch out for as well. Um, whatever your reasoning is for kind of to figure out like um, what card you want to go after and buy, depending on your budget, whether it's a buy for your team or whatever, take into account how close they are to getting their upgrade for attackers or midfielders. Le Melu is on four goals right now. Sancho is on three. Odegaard is on three. Perea is on one, I think. Uh, and then we had a brand new one today. We had this brand new objective card released, uh, the Timothy Oweya Silver Stars, which this is an absolute W of an objective right here. Silver Stars Oweya, and Jonathan David scored two goals today for Lille. So this card is on two goals right now. It's only out for six days, but two goals already towards this card getting upgraded. I don't know if this goes to a 74 or if it go. I don't know what this goes to, but I'm doing this. This will be the first Silver Stars player that I do all year because this guy is hyped over here in the USA, of course, and uh, I think we're pretty excited for what that upgrade could be. Now, last thing is, if EA don't get their stuff together, I'm not sure what's going on with upgrades because Mbabu right now is still not upgraded. And I think according to the website, we were expecting these upgrades to come out today. On Mbabu. So, like Mbabu right now, 500,000 coins just popped up. It's still getting insta sniped. He's still gonna go to an 87 rated, but none of our live in game upgrades have actually shown up yet. Um, and I wanna show you guys the exact wording that EA used on their webpage for this promo because it is a bit interesting. They said, 
that the how long will it take for a what if player to get updated after what if player fulfills their upgrade requirement scenario which has happened for mbabu right since last weekend the earliest the corresponding player item will be updated is on the following wednesday and we didn't get like any upgrades today holland headliner was supposed to get upgraded this mbabu gareth bale wants to watch has not been upgraded yet um so we're waiting on upgrades like that they, what I honestly think they might be doing now is just realizing that, of course, after the road to the final upgrades and how much like panic and market movements that that takes um, and potential to lose people coins, honestly, I feel like they might start upgrading all of these cards at nighttime. Either either it's that or EA was just kind of lazy today and they didn't upgrade Mbabu uh, because before they've upgraded headliner cards and stuff like that on Wednesdays at the team of the week drop. So Again, that website again here says that the earliest, the earliest scenario is the following Wednesday. That's the earliest. So that again, just kind of gives EA another loophole where they can um, actually do it later than what they would originally say. So that's kind of what we're thinking right now with these what if cards. I do think they are going to be investable and it will rise out of packs. Of course, I can't guarantee what's going to come in team number two. I don't know if we have any games coming on Friday that will impact these cards, Valencia, but the Real, uh, no. It looks like all the games are on Saturday for cards that we have right now. So Saturday will be a look for these cards to potentially rise up into that day for more goals or clean sheet potential uh, when these cards would have another chance to get those goals and clean sheets. But um, I do think that um, these cards will be investable and I do think they'll rise out of packs. Once we kind of get past this stage right now, what we're in uh, with the whole you know, icon pack scenario and everything like that. If you do want to invest in these, I feel pretty good about it. I really do. I still have a couple on my transfer list. Now I'm losing coins on that Jovic. I'm losing like 30K card, actually. I bought them at like 160. So that's pain, um, but it is what it is. And we will see if we can make some profit on those. I'm probably going to buy one or two of them, not necessarily like for my team, but just to stack on the transfer list. These guys are going to be fun to trade with. And uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are down below. I'm really curious for team two. And I do think that we'll start to see some of these cards as we head into next week, start to kind of go up in price, which is something a lot of us want to see because these cards with those upgrades, they're going to have demand. So I'm just waiting for this icon stuff to kind of pass or the whole fodder stuff. Um, but yeah, I do think these what if cards will rise out of packs. That's why I wanted to make this video today. I, I usually don't make these like invest these cards out of packs if I don't think they have potential to. I 100% think that all of these cards with the upgrades coming have potential to rise out of packs. So that's why I want to talk about this today. But of course, if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.